Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to set up Godot with C Sharp support. In the description below, you're going to see a series of links, and all of these links go to something that we'll be discussing in this video. So the first link should take you to this page. And from this page, you're going to want to download GodotEngine.net. And it's very important that you get this version and not the base version. The base version does not support C Sharp. So if you download that, you won't be able to continue this process. So make sure you download this. And it also supports GDScript as well as C Sharp. So just go ahead and download this and install it. And once you've done that, move on to the next link. The next link is going to take you to a page where you can install .NET. And I would advise that you download and install .NET version 6. It is the most recent version that has been tagged as long-term support. And this is the version that Godot used to integrate C Sharp into their engine. So for stability reasons, I would advise you to download this version. This is also the version that I downloaded. Once you've done that, move on to the next link, and it's going to take you to a page for Visual Studio downloads. You'll see there's a bunch of links here. There's a professional version, an enterprise version. There's a version for Mac. There's a Visual Studio Code. This also works with Visual Studio Code. The setup process is slightly different, but I would highly recommend that you get Visual Studio Community. It is, in my personal opinion, a more feature-rich um, IDE, and I have more experience with Visual Studio than I do Visual Studio Code. So in subsequent videos, if you choose to continue watching this channel, this is going to help you out a lot. So just go ahead and download this, and you'll see it doesn't take very long to download. And then you can open the installer and just continue through this process. You'll get to this page in the installer. And you'll see that there's a bunch of options here. You don't really need any of this. So just leave it at whatever the normal settings were when this window opened and just hit install. Now it's about 12 gigabytes. So depending on your connection speed, it may take more or less time. Once you've done that, you can hop on over to the next link, which is going to take you to a GitHub repository. Now, from this page, you're going to want to install this first file in the assets list, Godot add in vs vsix. Once you've downloaded that, just double click it and it should install this into Visual Studio for you. What this is, is your code completion for the Godot API through Visual Studio. Without this plugin, you will not be able to see any of the methods or member variables or properties that need to be accessed through the Godot API. So this is really mission critical that you get this. It will work without it, but it's going to make things extremely difficult for you. If you have any further questions regarding this, feel free to leave a comment down below, or you can check the next link and it will take you to the Godot docs where they've done actually a really nice process to uh, lay this out for you. And you can see that it supports a variety of external editors. I chose to use Visual Studio 2022 because it is the best option from the free options that are available. It is the most feature rich of all of them. JetBrains Rider is also very, very good, but it isn't free. I personally use it, and the setup process for Rider was basically the same. So the, the integration was, was pretty smooth. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. We'll see you in the next video, and if you gained any insight from this content, feel free to uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment. It helps out a lot. Thanks.